This is a book review of Sex and Horror, The Art of Fernando Carcpino. And the book covers a period of 1950s, mid-50s, 1955, etc., to like 1975. So that sort of period. Lots of colour, lot, there's a fair amount of black and white as well, lots of comic book art, standard comic book art, but lots of like obviously covers and also interior pages and things, but just beautiful artwork all the way through. A lot, a lot. I have to say that again, a lot of nudity, a lot more nudity than horror. I think personally, that is obviously the picture on the front, you've got a bit of horror there. However, now the company that produced this, and I'm just going to put it up there so you can see it, Correro. And they've got a number of other books as well, and they look absolutely great. There's four volumes so well, three volumes so far. There's another volume coming out, and I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, they bring out more because more the merrier of these brilliant Italian artists. Obviously, there's I would love to see them bring out books about Spanish artists because there's so many brilliant Spanish artists that deserve to be sort of have volumes like this. I mean, I guess over in Italy, etc., I'm certain the artists have got volumes like this. I hope they have. But in the UK, you don't always find all these. And I'm really pleased that this company's bringing these out. Just brilliant. There's about 175 odd pages in here. And I'm going to have to be very selective on what pages I show because it really is quite hard. I'm just going to show there's a picture of him in the studio. And a bit, there's not much text. That's really as much text as you get. There's, there's some text on the other pages, but there's not. Now, every picture does have a image has obviously a bit of information about where it was the date uh the magazine that it was in the number of the magazine etc but straight away go next page you've got this lovely one here in set in rome obviously you've got the lovely roman statue of augustus and you've got like nudes and people revealing <laughs> all the way through it and another page this one a love of horror yet to be honest i don't think it's really horror in terms of well i suppose it would have been horror if you were stuck in a, a dungeon but to be honest um I think a lot of people probably turn around and say that would be quite reasonably. <laughs> yeah. However, some great fashions in this as well. Just absolutely lovely. Obviously, a period 1950s, the clothes of the 1950s, the fashions of, and you've got uh, multiple of the cactus. And I'm glad they've actually put the English translation as well because I wouldn't know what those were for Italian. Now, I can read Italian reasonably well, but when it's obviously some words, you look at it and go, quickly check on Google Translate or something, because I don't know. That's a beautiful one, Casino in Paris. And there's just page after page, beautiful artwork there. Now, I'm not certain some of these, so I assume these were magazines. It's uh, 50 Lira. I assume it's a magazine. Could easily have been a book or something, but I, I think just, the Italians had just so many great magazines. And sadly, most of them never, ever, and there's quite some unusual ones. This one, obviously, Holland. We've got a very unusual um, scene there. And this one also, this one, where's this one? Probably Iceland. Oh, no, Alaska, I see. Got a lovely picture there of Alaska. And then you've got lots. He really specialised in a lot of these ones where there was a lot. Now, these would be brilliant on puzzles. I think these would be brilliant They'll never be brought out to puzzles, not in the UK anyway. I'd be very surprised if they ever came. But these would be absolutely crackingly good puzzles. You spend a lot of time doing it. It's like, uh, you know, like the uh, Where's Wally kind of thing. So you'd uh, be looking through it. But it's just, that's how complex these covers are. And again, I can't show them really because there's basically a lot of new in it. Just page after page of these sort of things, and obviously different scenes, so it's not all the same scene you've got here out in the park. You've got some scenes here with people on, with animals in a farm or something, I don't know. And then there's another one here in a swimming pool. I assume that's what it is. Another one out. <laughs> there's just lots and lots of pages on. And then you go to another. This is a, the magazines that they, they brought out, La Geographa. Um, Obviously, Erotica magazine. This was 1972. And this is obviously the covers. Then he's got lots of, and again, I can't show many. <laughs> Let's just quickly flick through. because, And then you've got some black and white. This, I assume, was obviously interior artwork. Yeah. And more pages. And it's just page after page after page. And just absolutely amazing selection of artwork in this. I'm really pleased this company brought this out. 
Because, well, obviously, people will look at it and say, ah, but I think this is just beautiful artwork that should not be forgotten and lost. It's, uh, and again, unfortunately, I can't show any, oh, it's not going to be, nope, can't show that, can't show that, can't show that. And this one, X-rated fairy tale. So we got to the back, Cinderella, Little Riding, Red Riding Hood, uh, Snow White and Dwarves, painted covers for such titles as Fabii, Proby, oh, Forbidden Fairy Tales. I'm glad they put the, uh, the English there. And continuing on. And now this goes into 1975. And, well, what a superb, superb book. And I'm sorry for not showing many, many examples of the artwork because the colouring is just superb. You can see if I flick through quickly, it's just colour all the way through. Now, ooh, so that's quite good. Can't show that either because of the back on there. However, it does not, it's got the acknowledgements at the back, got obviously your picture credits, etc., and also other books, and also it mentions the website. Obviously, the artist has got a website. .eu, so obviously just search for the name and you can find out more about this artist. And then so there's another one, Sex and Horror, The Art of Pino D'Angelico. Let's hope many, many more volumes come out of these absolutely lovely book. And I've got uh, another couple of books to uh, do book reviews of, and hopefully I can show more of the pictures in those. But uh, I have to say, this is an absolutely beautiful book, thoroughly recommended.